I am Dr. Prakash, uh, nephrologist from Manipal Hospital, Malaysia. Uh, it is uh, very disheartening to see that uh, the COVID numbers are slowly and gradually increasing in the country as well as in the individual states, like we are in Karnataka too. And uh, it is uh, it's of importance to know uh, that uh, the COVID infection is, is coming back in a big bang. And uh, what was uh, in the decreasing numbers up to November 50, 25th is slowly picking up and then uh, world over I think they are far far uh, ahead in the sense that uh, the numbers of COVID infections are sky high. Uh, for example, the US started seeing almost 4.5 lakhs per day which increased to almost 5.5 lakhs and now uh, in a day uh, just one or two days before it was around 10 lakhs. Likewise in the Europe and UK also the numbers are going up. And as you all know uh, by now that uh, unfortunately we are seeing a newer variant of uh, COVID in the form of Omicron which started uh, in South Africa and uh, slowly spread to different countries. And uh, what is good to note uh, about this Omicron is that it is, a, uh, it is a milder disease in the sense that the severity is not very much, however it is very contagious or infectious and it spreads like mad. So that is the only uh, problem with this Omicron. Otherwise, the patients or citizens don't get that sick. So that is one uh, good thing. Now coming back to the country, uh, we have almost seen almost uh, around 90 to 95,000 per day in the last uh, 48 hours or so. And uh, if you were to talk about our own state, Karnataka, uh, from November 25th, or uh, not November 25th, maybe December 25th onwards, which was almost just 250 and around 250 numbers per day is almost now uh, slowly increasing and has increased to around 3500 in the last 24 hours. That is the scale of uh, this uh, newer variant uh, of infection. We really do not know whether it is Omicron or whatever it is. We, we would be still dealing with the Delta or what we feel the way the, it is increasing probably it is Omicron is uh, what we are trying to uh, think and uh, so it is very important for us to take uh, uh, equal and uh, uh, very good COVID appropriate behavior measures which is the mantra for this uh, virus other than the vaccination other than the drugs uh, this is very 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 important come whatever may uh, more variants might come in the near future also. What is important uh, for us is to follow these COVID appropriate uh, behaviors, especially masking and uh, trying to avoid crowd and then distancing. Uh, we have been time and again been telling about uh, masking and uh, which has been uh, very, very clearly demonstrated by various uh, people, uh, various organizations, the TV media, but unfortunately that is not being followed at all and we could uh, at any given point of time see people walking around without the mask or mask which is absolutely not at the appropriate uh, place. So I think that is very, very important and uh, it is high time the citizens, the residents of the uh, country and uh, state take this uh, very, very seriously and then uh, follow these measures. At the same time, uh, we need to also do not get, we do not need to get pan panicky about this virus because as I already said, it is uh, uh, lesser severe one. We are not really seeing very sick patients in the ICU or in the wards requiring oxygen. So we need to be very cautious. Fortunately for us this time, uh, maybe this is the third way we can uh, say. And for us, uh, we should be grateful that uh, the, uh, the country is blessed with the vaccination drive, which uh, really, really went uh, very nice in the country and almost 70 percent, uh, if I am not wrong, uh, 65 to 70 percent of the population of the country have received uh, two doses and more than 90 percent have received uh, at least one dose of vaccination. And if you have to take Karnataka, I think probably uh, we stand uh, quite good in, uh, in terms of uh, vaccination, which is almost 70 percent uh, of uh, the Karnatakians have uh, received the vaccine. So that is a good thing and uh, immunity has developed within the uh, community uh, and uh, more the number of uh, uh, affected people, more is the 
herd immunity which can be there, but at the same time we should not be embanking on this and trying to uh, get exposed to the virus. So, what is important is that we need to follow the time tested measures what you have been uh, proclaiming from the time it started almost uh, in 2020, March of 2020. And uh, so, it is uh, very important for us to follow the measures laid down by the specialists, uh, the uh, country uh, people who really look into this COVID uh, uh, virus and its uh, dissemination in the country. So, that is very important. And uh, the last thing I would like to say is uh, the one should not be complacent and just sit and start moving around when they have some sort of uh, viral fever uh, symptoms in the form of say it could be just simple uh, cough and cold, fever, body ache, any of that. Uh, the best they can do is probably restrict themselves uh, at home, get uh, themselves tested and then see if they have exposed anyone in the family or uh, surrounding to uh, see that they are checked and then get treated. Treatment may not be as what uh, we had done in the second wave wherein uh, we had sicker patients. So, then uh, most of them got admitted. Uh, with this Omicron, we do not feel that it is going to be very, very severe. So, what uh, we would suggest is that if you have any of these symptoms which all of you know the classical uh, symptoms, uh, we should uh, try to isolate ourselves and do not go out in the uh, crowds. If one is going to the office, mall or any other uh, common areas, I think we should avoid. That is, that is uh, one thing which we all should uh, uh, realize. And uh, other thing is you should not self-medicate, get uh, proper uh, uh, advice from your doctors and uh, if in case you are uh, you have you have all the signs symptoms and signs of uh, covid and then uh, by, uh, by now also uh, it is very clear that we need to also keep checking our oxygenation most of the uh, population now is aware as to how they need to evaluate themselves before they get into the hospital so they need to check their oxygen saturation as long as it is less than 90 uh, more than 94% i don't think so you need to worry. So, that is what uh, is uh, the uh, the advice or uh, tips we can give. So, I would uh, finally say that we need to be very uh, aware of these things and then uh, do not be panicky about this, but at the same time uh, not to be complacent.